Hi right, guys, in this one we are going to feature this tank and we're going to show you what we brought home from Wharf Aquatics. If you've been watching my videos the last couple, I went and did a fish shop tour over there and I picked something up from Alan who works there. In the last video I showed you that I had two bags and can anybody see in this mound of fish what I brought home? Well the answer is I got three Balzini, so I got a male Balzini and two females, so there's one there's another where is the third one so the third one is obviously hiding but they've settled in really well and i did say in my fish room so i weren't going to put any more fish in here but i do that like i said before i say one thing and do another but i think it's fine there's room for them so already i'll just attach some footage if i've, if I've still got it onto this video and already the male, that's the male there, has paired off with one of the females and they were doing the dancing, the digging in this corner. So I actually noticed in the tank that that was happening anyway. And this is that Hekali, which has also settled in very well. Now, they're up, mostly they're up here looking for food. They're always out looking for food. So what we're going to do is we're going to feed them. Why not? So we're going to feed them some fish science which is this stuff here so it's a UK company and I've started to use this quite a bit lately I really like this stuff so we're going to feed that so let's get it in and they polish this off really quick I think the great thing with geos as well is now they're not all geos they're all different types of related families but the, the, what a lot of these fish do is they do sift in the sand so this food will sink and then they'll get in amongst this sand and they'll sift it there's one of my epistos my pair of episto there's the male there's the female and they're just waiting for the bits to drop they hang around in this like under this big uh, piece of wood so we've got a really good picture there a video there of both of them and yeah, that's the uh, Balzino. So there's the male. There's one of the females. And we still have we still got the other female not come out yet. I don't, one of them's hiding. Oh no, there's one. So there's a female. There's a female. <laughs> and there's the male. He's come right, he just came around the back of that wood. So yeah, all three of them are out. Obviously that one that was hiding couldn't resist the food. Now I do love this tank. Look at that. I, for me, I absolutely am in love with this tank. These are the Jurapari, Satana Perka Jurapari. And then, look at that Ekali, settled in really well, honestly. And I'll tell you what as well, these, these albino thread finicaras are growing so well. Honestly, they're putting on some size. These are a fast grower for me, to be fair. And that one there, getting a bit of a nuchal hump on its head, so probably a male. But anyway guys, I just wanted to show you, I didn't really want to do the whole new fish reveal video. I just wanted to feature this tank and show you the Balzini. And obviously if we get any breeding action, we'll do a proper video. But obviously that footage was just, that male's gorgeous. He will, for anyone that doesn't know this fish, he will at some point will probably or maybe get... A big nuchal hump and I don't know which is the female that he was pairing off with but he was pairing off with one of them so obviously in a tank like this it's really busy so you know if they do lay eggs they're probably not going to last five minutes anyway however you know when I redo the fish room we can start getting some other smaller tanks just for taking these pairs out and breeding them properly but and if I do get to them quick enough I may pull some who knows but yeah, for now, they're just in this tank and we'll see what happens. But yeah, I did say no more fish for this tank and truth to form, I added fish to this tank. Anyway guys, like I said, quick video. Just want to say a massive thank you as always and I appreciate your support. It does mean a lot and I'll see you all on the next one.